Oh, good. Anyway, good. Ish. Uh, well, better than the last clip anyway. Let me just make this camera noise. There we go. Welcome back to Lightning Outdoors. Uh, this is the final clips of the Missouri series. Uh, they are unboxings. A lot of this was unboxing. Um, because, I don't know. In that video game fishing for Blue Gills, I'm sorry if the frame rate was absolutely horrible. It was extremely windy. No matter what I did. Get the frame rate camera. Uh, my frame rate was dead. No matter what I did to try to fix it. But anyway. Let's get into this unboxing. We're going to start with, I stopped at the grocery store, there. I bought some Ledger Rock lures and pack split shot. I'm running low on split shot, that's just something you should always have. It's going to go with my crappie stuff. But I bought some more of their snake worms in black plum. I'll just pull one up and show you. 6.5 inch snake worm. Uh, it, in a sense, is basically just a ribbon tail, which is designed to go on the ledger heads. It's supposed to give it like a more natural action or something. I'll probably just end up Texas rigging them. That's how I work. Plus, worm, it should be Texas rigged. One more. I also got some of their four inch decraws in plum. This is a six count. The worms are a nine count. I'll show you one of the little craws. Also designed to go on the ledger or on their jigs, which I happen to have a jig or two of their jigs. One of them's getting unboxed here. One of them I've already unboxed. Yeah, ultra realistic looking little craw thing. Uh, like everybody down there, every bait shop, or pretty sure every bait shop. In the surrounding area, sells uh, Ledger Rock lures. They got some stuff up in Illinois and Arkansas, and some stuff or places on Table Rock, obviously, and maybe Bull Shoals. I don't know. Probably though. Uh, yeah. And obviously, the Ledger heads. I'm actually really intrigued by these things. I got seven sixteenths ounce, which is little under half ounce. The only other option was three four or. Then the weight above it was three fourths, which is a little over half an ounce. I don't like three fourths. And then I got a flip cast jig. Yeah, flip cast jig in purple, half ounce. It's a uh, black and blue. With if I show y'all, there's a black and blue jig. With a good hook, good sturdy hook, and a wicked bait keeper. With in the back, black though, there are strands of purple. And I wanted to try that out because it's something a little different than your standard black and blue. Yeah, that's what I got from there. Then on the way home, we stopped at an academy. And they obviously had some great deals in there. I think the cheapest thing I bought was like, yeah, 97 cents. Leland 10 piece, I don't know what that is. I think that's actually supposed to be big bite baits. Yeah, we're going to start with terminal from there. No. Alright, so I bought two packs of the Lowen's Lures Fin Spins. These are actually a little different than the Fin Commander ones, which Actually, if y'all give me a moment, I got them right up here. You can see how the Fin Commander ones are really close to the body for the blade. These ones are more out and away from the body. But I got white chartreuse. And, what do they call this color? Chart orange. This is 8th ounce. 16th. 
Oh dang! <laughs> and a little things made the ones I already had were one thirty second. Oh boy, that's small. The edge, a couple of those because I I can find Roadrunner heads, but they're relatively pricey. Find where they come from. All right, I'll take care of that later. But yeah, so they rate for crappie bass, panfish, trout. Uh, they're designed to fall, uh, the blade falls and spins on the retrieve or on the fall. And that little cupped nose that you got right there actually pushes water away from it, which causes it to have an interesting gliding or spiraling action to the bottom. Next. We'll go with the uh, oddballs in here. Starting with big bite baits, crappie tubes, 10 pack in Tennessee shed. I now have 280 crappie tubes. <laughs> I still find that funny. 280 crappie tubes. Very nice little slope day. Uh, next, I got some of the Strike King 2 inch Jokers 15 pack in Junebug Chartreuse. I'll actually pull one out of the package and show you what it looks like. No, oh, let me fix the frame right. There we go. But it's this little like tube thing. Not really. Oh, dang, that's bright. With, with these little balls on the end, that's going to catch water and kick and flap and have all sorts of action. It's going to be really good. If you haven't noticed, I'm starting to get more into crappie fishing. Uh, and finally, for the oddballs, get up here, was just some regular crappie magnets from Leland, I think. Let's see. Yeah. This is the CM 15 piece Midnight Blue. Use double cross jig head. I'm sorry, I don't have any of those. Yeah, I mean, I have fin spins, but I didn't buy no double cross. I did see them, but I didn't buy them. Why would I? Let's take you, take one out and show you. I'm trying to decide if these things have any center on <laughs> But it's literally just tiny little little bait, two split tails that twitch and quiver as you're hopping it or swimming it or whatever. Just a little bit of action there. And next is the fin commander's stuff. Uh, all I bought was their slab curly 12 piece things. I think they're absolutely wonderful, but some of my favorite color of all time, Grape Chart, or as they call it, Therapist. I'll just pull one out of the package to show you. It's basically just a little curly tail. Looks really slick, looks really sweet. Still can't decide if these things have scent or not. They smell like plastic. But they also have a little hint of something. And then I also got the same thing in black chartreuse. That is all. Thank you for watching. See y'all later.